We Are Atmosphere is the title of two connected photographic works in the exhibition, which explore the ideas that the world is atmosphere and that we are atmospheric beings, something that is both a material fact of life and an awareness that climate change has ushered in. The atmosphere is at once the thick layer of gas that surrounds the planet and makes life possible, everything that is beyond and between us as beings, and something entering and leaving our bodies with each breath. It is also a place so profoundly altered by our carbon-fueled civilization that livability as we know it is at risk on this planet. In this series, I am thinking about what it means to be aware of ourselves as atmospheric beings that live inside this realm of unbounded exchange, where actions cannot be contained but are instead drifting and ever accumulating. Using colored clouds in the sky, the works explore the endless mixing of the atmosphere, showing how the atmosphere puts us in relation to everything. We are the atmosphere in multiple different ways. Everything We Have Done is Weather Now is the work that the exhibition is named from. It's a series of eight photographs that explores changing human relationships with weather particularly how it is registered and measured, and how doing so shapes our understanding of the weather we live with. Weaving together photographs of historical handwritten weather ledgers from about a century ago, with photographs of contemporary skies, the work looks at weather as an entity in which human activities are deeply implicated. What we do is weather, what we are is weather. The ledgers reveal a practice of methodical data collection, which would have involved a committed and involved relationship with the location's weather, as well as the irresistible human tendency to note things like unusually beautiful weather phenomena, the behavior of animals, and what the moon is doing. I wove these together with photographs of skies, taken at the same time of year as the observations, another form of watching the weather, and an acknowledgement that the weather is an accumulation of an infinite number of actions and therefore is itself a material archive. Watching dull edges, the end of winter in the northern hemisphere of a 23 degree, 26 minute tilt is a series of six photographs that document my careful watching of the last snowfall of the winter melting inside a glass tube. Because I was trying to capture the last snowfall, I remade the work each time it snowed until no more snow arrived. It was made as a meditation on what it means to be living through the end of planetary regularities as we planetary creatures have known them, in this case as a long season with an accumulation of snowfall. This work aims to make a kind of change that is difficult to register and understand, not just visible but felt and acknowledged. Something like the end of winter doesn't have a single moment, but is rather a dull edge, as the title of the work suggests. Like other works in this exhibition, these photographs are a way of thinking something through, and part of a practice of paying attention as a first step towards acknowledging and mourning what is being lost, and then moving towards different, hopefully more generative ways of being on this planet. Weather Watcher is the earliest work in the show and is the beginning of a number of ideas explored throughout the exhibition. It documents an installation and performance work that involved installing a large windsock-like device in a public space and observing the wind every day over a period of several weeks. This work explores changing human relationships to the weather as something that is at once an everyday localized experience and a planet-scaled signal that climate change has brought an ever-increasing awareness of. Like other works in the exhibition, it is centered on the practice of paying careful attention to the non-human phenomena that surround us, as a way of starting to learn to live differently on this planet by reorienting what we put our attentions to. Weather Watcher is about taking the time to carefully observe immediate local weather conditions, in this case the wind, getting to know it better, learning from it, and watching for signs of disruption that might connect local conditions to planetary ones. As more and more extreme weather events bring the realities of climate change into the everyday lives of increasingly more people, this work feels to me like it's becoming anachronistic, marking an earlier time in my climate change awareness, which highlights the urgency and rapid speed of the climate emergency. 
The final work in the show is called Watching White Ibis, again picking up the idea of watching and paying attention. The work is about thinking through what it means to be living with and within the scale of planetary disruption that climate change is causing. The work addresses a species of bird called the white ibis, which is known for being the last animal to take shelter before a storm arrives and the first to reappear when it has passed. The work explores what it means to live inside the forces of change as a planetary being across different scales of time.